Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Um, today we're going to look at simplifying fractions. And what I'm going to do is show you two ways you can simplify any fractions. The first one is when you have a top heavy fraction and you can't actually divide either the numerator or the denominator by any numbers. Um, so what do you do in that case? So uh, suppose you have a number like um, 8 over 3 and you are asked to simplify it. Now, usually people think, okay, simplifying means I have to divide the numerator and the denominator. Uh, and in this case, if you look carefully, eight and three, you can't actually divide it with any numbers. Now, one of the tricks I use in order to check if I can divide the numerator and the denominator by any number is use the prime numbers. Now, I know the prime numbers are, um, Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, etc., etc. So I'm going to ask myself: Can I divide eight and three by two? No. Eight and three by three. Well, I can divide the three by three, but the eight I can't. So we have to make sure that both numbers, the eight and the three, have to be divisible by any of these numbers. Yeah. And if I just carry on with the seven and the eleven and the thirteen. Uh, we will notice that you know we can't use any of these numbers to actually divide the eight and the three. And using the, using these uh, prime numbers is actually a very good starting point to um, simplify fractions. So in this case, it's not working. So what do we do? Well, your alternative is to write it into mixed numbers. So how do you write mixed numbers? Easy. You look at the bottom number, the denominator which is 3 in our case, and you ask yourself how many times it can go into 8. And uh, here you need to know your multiplication table if you want to do that properly. Uh, I know for a fact 3 goes into 8 two times, so I'm going to write down 2. Then I need to ask myself, what is the remainder? Because 3 times 3 is equal to 6 and I didn't get to 8. So the remainder is 2, because 3 times 3 is 6, and to get to 8, I need 2 more. So the remainder is 2. And then finally, you're going to ask yourself, what is what was this original fraction out of? It was out of 3. So here, you're going to write down 3. And this is how you simplify a uh, fraction, which cannot be simplified by dividing the numerator and the denominator. So you turn it into a mixed number. And this is what... Um, we are looking for. Now let's take a look at another example where we are simplifying a fraction, but this time we can actually divide the numerator and the denominator. So I've got 14 over 21. And like I said to you, I use the prime numbers to sort of make my job easier when I simplify. The prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and usually um, these um, six prime numbers are okay. But if you need to use bigger ones, then you know, you're just going to have to figure out uh, the next set of uh, prime numbers. But the majority of the time, you're okay with these numbers. So I'm going to ask myself, 14 and 21, can I divide it by 2? 14, I can. If I divide it by 2, it gives me 7. But 21, I can't, because if I divide it by 2, it's going to give me 10.5, and we do not want any decimal numbers in our fractions. So that one is gone. Let's try it with the 3. 14 divided by 3, is that possible? No, it's already that goes out of the window. 14 divided by 5, does it work? No, it doesn't. So that one's gone. 14 divided by 7. Well, that's interesting. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2, so it works. And 14, 21 divided by 7, does that work as well? Yes, it does, because 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. So there you have it. This is the number I'm going to use to divide my numerator and, by, and my denominator. So I'm going to divide this by 7, and I'm going to divide the denominator by 7. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. And 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. 
Finally, what you should always do is check whether you can simplify this new fraction again. And uh, let's do a quick check. 2 divided by 2, I can divide, but 3 divided by 2, I can't. And then with 3, I can't. With 5, I can't. With 7, I can't. So there you have it. This is your final answer. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And uh, this was a tutorial about simplifying fractions using mixed numbers and dividing fractions. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon in another video tutorial.